Thanks. Okay. Okay, ji. Achiba, namaste. Take care. Shuru karte, Achka yoga kare. Achiba, bed your sida. Teen bar om kidwani. Vachik, upansik, a mansik. Na, sikna, niche se. Sele, niche, the beach me, her upper. Take, kacha se saslo, gera sas. Om Shanti 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 Puna Sadinikli Nuad Kari to Kanda Hey Yokare Rasta Tere अब निस्वत को देखभाल करें ये तो बहुत जरूरी है और जो कुछ मिलेगा तो वो दूसरी बात है पहला अच्छा की आसन ठीक है आज साथ में आसन करते हैं आधा घंटे आसन आधा घंटा जैसे मैं कहता हूँ कि आप तैयार होंगे कहीं एक्सरसाइज करने जाने के लिए अपने आप घर में ही कर सकते हो और उम्र के साथ तो और डिफिकल्ट होने लगता है तो ऐसा कुछ करें जो जिंदगी भर कर सकोगे ठीक है पश्चिमोत्तान आसन हाथ ऊपर से नीचे पैर को खोलो राइट तो मिनिमम थ्री टाइम्स है दोनों को सिंक्रोनाइज करते हैं सर दोनों तरफ बराबर फिर पैर खींचो और माइंडफुल तो ओम बोलने से यही ठीक है होता है कि आप यू कैन कंसंट्रेट ऑन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग वॉकिंग भी करना जाओ कुछ भी एक्सरसाइज हो अगर उसमें माइंडफुलनेस हो तो उसका इफेक्टिव और ज्यादा हो जाता है इफेक्ट इफेक्ट ज्यादा होगा तो केवल योग ए बैठ कर करने की बात नहीं कुछ भी करें तो माइंडफुल रहें तभी ओम से शुरू करते हैं ठीक है आप एक एंकल की एक्सरसाइज पीछा भी चल में ऐसे पुल कर ऐसे दोनों को अंदर की ओर दोनों है ना स्टिफनेस हो जाती है एंकल्स में और रिस्ट में इसका एक्सरसाइज ऐसे करते रहे तो स्टिफनेस नहीं होगा लोगों बहुत लोगों का एक प्रॉब्लम है एंकल पेन और रिस्ट पेन तो घुमाएं सिंपल एक्सरसाइज है बल्कि बराबर करना है रिपीटेडली करेंगे ऐसे तो होगा नहीं ठीक है ओके okay. अच्छी बात है अब स्पेसिफिक एक्सरसाइजेस अपनी चक्र के लिए पहला मूलाधार चक्र उसके लिए ओके पैर राइट एंकल ऑन लेफ्ट नी राइट नी को नीचे दबाएं तो नीचे जो है टेल बोन है उस पर उसकी इंपैक्ट पड़ती है जितनी एनर्जी जो है सब रिजर्व मूलाधारी चक्र में होती है उसको नीचे की ओर ले जाएंगे तो बुरापन होता है ना क्रिमिनल एक्टिविटीज मर्डर रेप ये सब बुरी बुरी आदत जितना नीचे जाएगा जितना ऊपर उसके ले जाएंगे तो आपकी अब जैसे बेली बटन जोड़ी तो लग गया तो वहां से आपकी प्रोडक्टिविटी अच्छी हो जाती है एवरीडे लिविंग मटेरियल सबसे बहुत होता ऊपर ले जाए और ऐसे ऐसे तो और अच्छा होता है तो ये एनर्जी जो है स्टोर्ड है बॉडी में ही उस तो बेसिकली सभी के पास एक कैपेबिलिटी है कोई भी एडवांटेज नहीं है कारण अनुसार जन्मों जन्मों का आपकी जो जन्म होती है वो चाहे नीचे की ओर या ऊपर की ओर थोड़ी ज्यादा होगी आप 
एलोन मस्क को ले लो उसकी मस्तिक जो है ना इंटेलिजेंस बहुत हाई है तो मल्टीपल लाइफ पहले जो संस्कार बना है उसका ऊपर कहा है क्रिएटिविटी बहुत हाई है उसमें तो ऊपर है इंटेलिजेंट इंटेलिजेंट तो कर्म तभी अपनी जो जिंदगी है इस जन्म में अच्छा करोगे यही नहीं मिला तो अगले बार में मिलोगे मिलेगा जरूर लेकिन इसी जन्म में चेंज हो सकता है ठीक है तो मूलाधार के बाद में सदिष्टाना तो ये तितली आसन है तो तितली आसन ऐसे पैर साथ में इसको दबान तो अब जो हाई से आपकी खुलती है तो ये आसन है प्राणायाम तो है ही यही कार्य के लिए किया जाता है लेकिन आसन भी है इसको माइंडफुल लगा कर रिदमिकली करे दोनों तरफ बराबर तो जो एनर्जी सेंटेंस है जैसे कहते हैं ना कि स्नेक की तरह है डीएनए जैसे डीएनए उसी तरह नीचे से जाती है ऊपर तो एक्सरसाइज करें कितनी आसन ऐसे खुलती है शाना जो है सेंशुअल अटैचमेंट ना खाना पीना में लोग एडिक्टेड हैं क्योंकि ये डिफॉल्ट मैकेनिज्म है आपका क्या बोलते हैं एंटरटेनमेंट का खाना पीना बस इसी में बजे रहना जिंदगी निकल जाती है तो खाना तो चाहिए लेकिन अटैच नहीं है ना निष्काम कर्म बोलते हैं निष्काम कर्म में कुछ भी करें उसमें अटैच नहीं रहे तो ये सदिष्टाना जो चक्र है उसकी एक्सरसाइज से धीरे धीरे आपकी जो अवेयरनेस है वो इंक्रीज होती है तो आपको पता है कि आप जीते हैं भोजन खाने के लिए नहीं भोजन है आपको जीने के लिए तो इतना ही ले और पॉइजन वगैरह एल्कोहल वगैरह क्या जिंदगी को हराम अनाहत के लिए ऐसे नीचे जाए जितना हो सके सकते हैं लो तो के तो आपकी जो चेस्ट है वोकल कोड इम्यून सिस्टम तो वंस लाइफ की जो बेसिक नीड्स है वो पूरी हो जाए आपकी सर्वाइवल है खाना पीना रिप्रोडक्टिव केपेबिलिटी है बेसिक एनिमल्स में वो होती है ना सभी में है तो उसमें जब बराबर होगा आपके पास जब थोड़ी दौलत हो रहा है आप घर है खाना पीना तब आप ऊपर आ सकते हो अनाहत अनाहत की मतलब फिर आपको उसमें भड़कन आती है क्योंकि ह्यूमन बींग्स में ही पॉसिबिलिटी होती है कि आप दूसरे के लिए चीज करें दूसरे के बारे में सोचे अपने सिवा संसार एक क्लाइमेट है जो धरती है उसको देखभाल करे सब कुछ करना ऐसे से ऊपर जाता फिर विशुद्धि इम्यून सिस्टम में है बोन बोन मेरो है इम्यून इसका स्टिमुलेशन रिएक्शन टाइम आपका जल्द से सोच पाओगे क्या कहना क्या बोलना कैसे रिएक्ट करना आप वाणी करुणा बुद्धि का उपयोग देना कि कैसे कहा को सिचुएशन में आप कैसे बातचीत करें ये सब होने लगता है फिर प्राणायाम प्राण क्रिया करने से आपकी नाशिका का ये जो सेंसेस है हम उसके परसेप्शन केवल फाइव परसेंट ही ले पाते हैं अभी ब्रेन का भी वैसे तो इसका जो परसेप्शन इंक्रीज होने लगता है देखने का सुनने का यहाँ फिर फिर मेटाफिजिकल आपकी लिंक जो है फाइनल जो है स्टिमुलेट होती है प्राणायाम से फिर सहासरा आपका खुल जाएगा तो ये जो स्टेप से साथ है तो सेवन नंबर्स तभी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है ना सेवन प्लेन्स ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस सेवन प्लेन्स वर्किंग इनसाइड दे सेवन लेयर्स इनसाइड द एयर्स ऐसे बाहर में भी तो अंदर भी उसी तरह है ओके सो तो एक्सरसाइज आप करते हैं ऐसे ले ले उठ सकते हो तुम किए और उठाना चार पूरी की पूरी ऊपर आ जाए एक दो तीन चार पांच अब लेट जाए 
और सामने की ओर ऊपर जाए हला सर नि पैर जितनी पीछे हो सके ले जाए पूरा जा सकते तो थोड़ा जितना हो फोर्स नहीं करें जितना हो सके तीन बार हो गया अब चौदह स्टेप सर्वान आसन सर्वान आसन क्या ऊपर रोक ले एक दो तीन चार पांच से खोलना आगे पीछे बाइसिकल चलाना सामने से फिर पीछे की ओर नीचे पैर को रोके एक दो तीन चार पांच मिनट फिर ऊपर एक दो तीन चार पांच एक दो तीन चार पांच छ सात आठ नौ दस बार से खोल ले खोलना तीन बार बाहर से अंदर ठीक और मुक्ता से ब्रिंग यूनिस राइट साइड सेम थिंग लेफ्ट साइड वन टू थ्री दोनों वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ऊपर जाए और मसाज हो रहा है आपकी बैक और पेट की एक्सरसाइज हो रही है इसे साथ में फिर राइट की तरफ फिर लेफ्ट जाए तीन बार इसको करें राइट लेफ्ट लाइट एंड लेफ्ट आप मतृशासन इसको उठाए पेल्विक फ्लोर एक्सरसाइज नी की एक दो तीन अब और ले नजदीक एक दो तीन हाथ शोल्डर्स के पास में एंड लिफ्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नीचे सपोर्ट योर नेक एंकल सर टूगेदर नीज आर टूगेदर ट्विस्ट योर बॉडी मकर आसन राइट लेफ्ट राइट and left right and left or a hal navas boat 1 2 3 4 5 upar aaye bait bait kar gomu ka sa theek sit on your right ankle lift your right left leg over your right knee Push your body right in here behind the left knee and look at the back. One, two, three, four, five. You can extend your hand. Five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five. Or up, left hand from top, right hand from the back. You can hold the fingers together. One, two, three, four, five, and then try and touch the knee. One, two, three, four, five. गौमुख एक ही आसन में इतनी पूरी एंकल से नेक का एक्सरसाइज हो जाता है राइट लेग ओवर लेफ्ट नी लेफ्ट एल्बो बिहाइंड राइट नी लुक एट द बैक वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सटेंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव रिलैक्स यू रेस्टिंग क्लैप यू यू हेड अच्छा इंप्रेस ग्राउंडिंग ग्राउंडिंग इज अ बिग थिंग नाउ इट्स बाय Harvard University, lots of research are being done. How grounding helps you remove your stress, balances your energy in your body. So, now yoga se science me chala gaya hai. Iska effectiveness bahut hai ki pair nikal aare. Aise nange pair saaf jagah par thoda der ke liye chalna. Tapping, tapping or grounding, dono ka. They are utilizing these things now in a lot of research. Heart clapping. So clapping, namaste, kanda. So gratitude. Yes. There's lots of things happens. I say heart ka bhi. Isi tarah se massage kare thoda se. Iska electrical energy hai na grounding karte hai. 
तो जब भी मौका मिले थोड़ा हो तो जरूर ऐसे चाहे हाथ से कर ले या यू कैन वोक समिच इज क्लीन तो यहाँ ये रेडियल आर्टरी को प्रेस करें क्लॉक वाइज और फाइव टाइम्स ऐसे करें फिर अपनी एसिड बेस पेट की जो जूसेस है उसका सिक्रेशन बैलेंस होता है इससे ये जो अंगूठा है इसको यहाँ पर से टच करें दोनों तरफ फिर ये जो मसल से हाथ की या किनारे इसको लेकर ऐसे मसाज करें ऊपर फोर हेड सर्कल हो जाए पीछे की ओर फिर ऊपर की ओर ऐसे आंख ये जितनी लगभग पांच यहाँ पर साइनस होती है इसको टैप करें टैपिंग ऐसे चेहरा खुशियाली बनी रहे या आपकी स्ट्रेस दूर होती है यहाँ पर बड़ी बड़ी वेसल्स है नर्व्स वोटा ऐसे ऐसे बड़ी बड़ी इसको प्रेस करने से एनर्जी आती देही में ठीक है इस लाइक अ जंप स्टार्ट करते हैं का बैटरी नहीं यहाँ पर अगर आप तामसिक स्थिति में हो एनर्जी नहीं होती मॉर्निंग में तो इसको प्रेस कर ले थोड़ा ऐसे टैप कर कर ऐसे यू फाइंड लोड ऑफ एनर्जी लेजीपन दूर होता है इससे और जब प्राणायाम करेंगे तो यहाँ पर है थाइमस ग्लैंड बोन मेरे जो इम्यून सिस्टम है उसको स्टिमुलेशन होता है ऐसे टैप से ठीक और अब करें रिस्ट की एक्सरसाइज ऐसे दोनों पुश एंड पुल घुमाए ऐसे हाथ का ऐसे ऊपर पुल दोनों की ओर शोल्डर ऊंची की ओर ऐसे थो, ऐसे थोड़ा थोड़ा ही करना है इतना ही करने से इनफ हो जाती है बहुत ज्यादा नेक के धीरे से राइट की ओर ले जाए ऐसे एकदम Nice and smooth. Be conscious. Be with what you are doing. Don't let your mind keep running away to other things. Yeah, you have whole day to do other things. You can think about it later. Now, just concentrate. So yoga helps in whatever you do. Makes it rhythmic and makes you learn how to focus. Because if once you are focusing on anything, you can do it much better. Uh, now. Facing downwards, pila plank position or push-ups, whatever you can do. Try and do it. Yeah. Like flat, push your hands upwards and push your leg downwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how much stiffness is? Would have gone within the five seconds. Now rest your chin on your thumb. Bring your legs towards your bum. Yeah. Now push yourself up, right side. Look at the legs. Your heel on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Chin side. One, two, three, four, five. Hold your hands together. Sarvasan snake pose. Twist your body to the right, left, right, left. More time. Right and left. Hands by your side. Push your legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Press the floor back up. One, two, three. Four, five. One more time. Just the floor back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Hold your ankles. Bring it towards yourself. Pull and lift your neck up. One, two, three, four, five. Now breathe in and out together with it. Push up and down. Up. Pull to the right side. Left side, right side, left side. One more time. Right and left. 
Now, lift your right leg, hold it with your left fingers and pull as much as you can towards the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Change side, left side. Bring it to the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Now, support your right knee with your left leg. Lift yourself up. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. One, two, three, four, five. Now balance on the right knee. One, two, three, four, five. Turn side. Balance on the left knee this time. One, two, three, four, five. Now stay on the four. Hold out. Breathe in, out as you come up, rotate your tummy as much as you can from clockwise, then breathe again, in, out from left side, this side, one. Breathe again, from the side, one, two, three, four, five, from left side, out, front, More last time. Put your right leg in, take in your right hand and try and touch your knee. One, two, three, four, five. Then inside, push your left leg inside, straighten yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Now come up on your knee, go back as much as you can, still awesome. Balance with yourself. One, two, three, four. And then now relax on your ankles. Go back. One, two, three, four, five. And the third variation all the way. Go down and down. If you can, don't push. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Now Vajrasana position. We do. Mandukasana. Fingers together. Push your belly button. Yeah. Muladha. So this time Manipurasana. Pressing on it. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Increase the pressure. If you have hernia or anything, don't do it. You're increasing the pressure in the tummy. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. Now press the fingers on the left hand. One. Two, three, four, five. Now, along your thighs at the level of belly button, on the sides, fingers together, press, go down. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Now, extend your hands. Keep your neck straight. Look at the fingers on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Go left. One, two, three, four, five. Go diagonal now. Right side up, one, two, three, four, five. Left side downwards, one, two, three, four, five. Opposite side, left hand up now, one, two, three, four, five. Right downwards, one, two, three, four, five. Horizontal again, right side, one, two, three, four, five. Left side, one, two, three, four, five. Hands on your thighs, look as far. Then quickly at the tip of your nose, far away. Tip of your nose, far away. Tip of your nose. Now go. Rotate your eyeball. Yeah? 12, 3, 6, 9. 12, 3, 6, 9. 12, 3, 6, 9. 12. Go anti-clockwise. 12, 9, 6, 3. 12, 9, 6, 3. 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. Okay. Now, see if you can lift yourself. You can do it if you can't, don't worry. You can go on the sides or on your tummy. Now, allow it flat on your back and get up without using the support of your hand. Right, so, lying flat, hands by your side. Lift yourself without. Yeah, so slowly it will happen. The muscles become stronger. Okay, I'm going to turn it. Now standing up, 
asanas. Okay, first breathe, open your chest, breathe in and out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Pull, pull, breathe in, out. Yeah. You can jump like this here. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, exercise for you. Now, knees clockwise, anti clockwise. For your thighs and your pelvic area, clockwise, anti clockwise. Okay. Anjali Asana, okay, so hands by your side, go down, 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 face cross, hold your earlobes, press them, come up, go down, mm -hmm. one more time, hold it there, Malasana, one, two, three, four, five, come up, bridge asana, like a tree, push yourself up, okay, stand on one, Leg even better. One, two, three, four. Inside. One, two, three, four, five. Now balance yourself. Push on the right side, warrior pose. One, two, three, bring your hands up. One, two, three. If you can balance. One, two, three. Change side on the left. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Lift and balance. One, two, three. Now we do Man Chandra Namaskar. Okay, so three quart. Asan, hands down, right hand here. Look at the fingers on the top. Then bring down. Both hands goes down, knee bends. Down, down. Lift yourself up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, come. Sit on your right ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. On the left, three cone. Down. Both hands together. Bend your knee. Down. Lift yourself up. One, two, three. And then on your left ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Push yourself further down. Push. Push. Inside, out, up. Okay, now, Surya Namaskar. Okay, Surya. Identify with symbols. Yeah, life is about symbols. Everything, there is a, there is a meaning behind. Our imagination, our visualization is the trick of it. Learn from it. So what does sun? Ask for energy. Ask the giver. It's a giver, moon. Femininity, sundarta, shitalta, you know, sweetness, earth, organic, inorganic. So once you start understanding things deeply, then you start reading the symbols of what all this means to your life. Okay, so gratitude comes by doing Sarasura Namaskars. Express gratitude to sun, to Surya Namaskar, Chandra Namaskar, your, your parents, your children, your wife, your husband, your neighbors. Express these things and your life will become better. Okay, so breathe in, breathe out. That's what it teaches. Breathe in and out. Touch your toes, push yourself back, plank position. Okay. Chin, knee, and toes are touching. The rest is lifted. Up. Bhujangasana, mountain pose. Right side, followed by left. Bring the left leg in. Come up. Now go from the left side, breathe in and out. In. Out, push your left leg back, plank position, Bhujangasana, Parvatasana, left, followed by right, right in, come up, all the way, second cycle, from the right side, breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, from the left side, one, two, three, Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Third cycle from the right side. Breathe in, out, breathe in, and out. Right side, plank, bhujan, parvati. Right, left, pull left in. Left cycle, last one from the left side. Breathe in, and out, in, and out, left leg. Plank position, Asthanasana, Bhujan. Parvatasana, left, by right, push the right leg in. Up. That's only three cycles, man. Full cardiac exercise. If you do it, say, just do it 10 times. It'll be full, full cardio. That's only in three, you start feeling it, okay? So that's, now, Coming towards the end of the asana, so the physical exercises. Now, if you can do this, it's good. Can't do very balancing on your hands, on your elbows. And the last one is sirasana. If you can't do headstand, you can do shoulder stand. Okay, sarvangasana. I'll do headstand. Yeah, this is the very last one now, last physical exercise. Come on. Yes. 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 Okay. Right, so done only half an hour. Head to toe exercises and very rhythmic. You're mindful. Everything that you do has much more effectiveness. You would have taken half an hour to get ready, drive a car, put pollution in the environment, go to a place, it's busy. You're frustrated, you're upset. Takes away all your effort that you were trying to do. Even. It's a simple simplicity. Of life is much better than more, you know, complexity, showing off, all this stuff, simple things. Now, rest. You deserve a rest because you've done exercise. We'll do. So, this is what's called corpse or the dead man position. Lying down, hands by the side, lifted, like looking upwards, legs little separated, about two centimeters. And your eyes are closed, but your ears are open. Your third eye will open. What's called supraconscious, your real self is actually within the inside. So yoga nidra, nidra, sleep, your nidra is not sleeping like the usual way, seven, eight hours you need a sleep. Because that's passive sleeping, you need your body is only, you know, only your senses are quiet. Everything is, is still going on. But with your nidra, you are not even sleep in that manner. You are aware, but you are dipping into your subconscious or the supraconscious, which is the controller. 90% of the functions are controlled by things that are happening deep to you. So we go through that and it's very powerful. It's really helpful for you to become healthy. So breathe in deeply through your nostrils. Follow the breath through the nose, through the windpipe into the lungs, watch with your third eye, what happens to the air, oxygen is taken by the hemoglobin, the blood takes to the heart, heart pumps it, within microseconds it's gone to the every tip of your body. It happens so quickly. But it's happening without your control, without you thinking. But when you think about it, when you are aware about it, its effectiveness increases. That's life. If you have concentration on anything, it becomes better. If you concentrate on two negative things, you become depressed, you have anxiety, you become sick. If you concentrate on two positive things, never mind how bad your situation might be, you will get better. So thinking about your physiology of body is fine as well. Because that's called mindfulness. So breathe again. Deep breath. Surprise. 
Now take your attention to the belly button and push your breath out. So belly button goes in when you're pushing your breath out. It compresses onto your tummy. So air with that, the blood return to the heart, to the lungs and the carbon dioxide and other gases are coming out. Watch it with your third eye. There are three atoms in carbon dioxide, two atoms in oxygen. Just by using atomic formula, you know, like you can balance your weight if you breathe properly. So usually yogic people have very well balanced uh, weight. They don't get too fat, they don't get too thin either because they are rhythmically breathing properly without realizing what is happening because your metabolism is very nicely balanced. So it's called a power. Now breathe again, third one. Follow it through your nostrils. This time, bring your breath, attention to the level of your heart. Visualize as you breathe out what's called apan shakti, no, apan no. So pran, apan, saman. So saman is between your heart and your belly button. There is an energy center which is reflective of the sun. Sun is the energy, the flame that we, that keeps the earth alive or our universe alive. Same way in the body, there is a called Saman Shakti, which is your burning power. Agni, Mire, Purohitam. We go, this is the mantra of the Rig Veda. So everything we start in our life, we light a dia, we say the prayer. Agni, Mire, Purohitam. So that is what keeps this body going. Saman, so yes, is reflecting your sun, your beauty of your face. Now breathe again. Deep breath. Follow that. We've done three of them. Now bring your attention to the heart. It's called Udar. Now as you breathe out, visualize the fluidity of the body. So each of these components, when we take breath in, we say pran, the space there, ita. When we breathe out, pan, it's reflective of the moisture of the environment. Saman, the heat, the energy. Now, udan, uh, vyat, udan is the fluid or uh, the water. So 70% of earth is surrounded by water. Your body is 70% water. So it gets fluidity, shitalta, cohesion, conduction system in the body, your electric, electrical conduction to the universe if you want to develop. It comes from this fluid in your body because there is an atmosphere or there is energy outside within the atmosphere and we connect through it. When you go deep yoga practice, then you start connecting. So, Yatha Pinde, Tatha Brahman. That's where it applies. Okay, now breathe again. And the fifth pran is called Vyan. So, you come all the way right to the top of your head. Visualize your body. There are 205 bowels. There are 30,000 kilometers of blood vessels and nerves and things. All this was called Sthul, ethereal body. They are making this body alive. It's like a machine. And then beyond that is mind. Beyond that is even a bigger power called your spirit or the soul or the Atma, which runs this body. Visualize it. So what we understand is usually the planes of existence as a physical level. We go up to magnetic level even. So you can do MRI scans and other things. But beyond that, there is more stuff. Okay, so for that, that's why we do pranayama. Now bring your attention to the, when you get cut off, you can rejoin, yeah? So the second part which makes this body alive from after breath is food and water. So visualize. And again, that is only 10% of your control is what you bring into your mouth. After that, you have no control. So you have to be very responsible in what you are doing. You are not hurting other things to fulfill your taste buds. Don't be a hypocrite yeah, of the world. You say like animals and pets and stuff, but you are 
ready to close your eyes as to how many animals, 80 billion animals get killed a day to feed people. So just, just be aware of what we are doing.